gosh, Ooh, I all these other, I listen and I'm like, oh, they're all just trying so hard to be shocking and controversial and either have it or you don't. Okay. So I feel because I don't try, I'm not trying to let me give my little one liner and look at me. I'm so, I am, I don't, please don't look at me. There's no ego here. I don't. So I feel when I say something and it comes out of my mouth, I don't always, I backtrack. I'm like, shit, I didn't really mean that. Like, not that I'm scared. I just think about it, but I would never ask for an edit. Honestly, sign me up for, you know what, Sarah, when you get me into the reality show, I'm not going to ask for an edit. It just is what it is. It Thank is you. what it is. It's I'm going like, to roll this tape up when you go, uh, I want edit about no, how I was portrayed. No, do you know why? Because we evolve, we evolve. I'm not the same, but I meant it in that moment. That was an authentic statement. That was an that was an authentic reaction. That was authentic in that moment. Now I flip flop. Melissa did this. Melissa did that. I don't know. We're in this fight. Of course, we evolve and we think. But I, at that moment, when I said it, I meant it. No one's standing behind me with a gun. So I feel that yes, I would never ask for an edit. So I mean, Giselle, honey, it's what season? Like you're making money. I mean, really, really, really. Because Andy okay. said you didn't look good. Who cares, girl? Who Gis- cares? Giselle has done your show numerous times. Am I yeah, missing I, something? I I don't get. I don't get how she's still relevant. Am I wrong? Am I like? Look, not all interviews behind the velvet rope are created equal. You know, like you said last time with Jerry O'Connell, you know, he's of the business. Certain people, you know, they speak and you're like, this is, this is good. This is real. And other people, you know, you get whatever. And you're like, it is what it is. I love having Giselle on the show. I'd love to have her back. It's, yeah, I mean, you gotta, this is why people are like, Giselle, it's too much, right? It's like, you gotta reveal, you gotta cry. You gotta, again, if you don't want to do that, then what show are you on? Like, that's but it's what not even want. believable that Chris Bassett wants her. That's like the thing, you know what I mean? Like Chris Bassett's kind of, he's on and popping and he's hot. You know what I mean? Like he would want another young thing. Like, I mean, and Giselle's and gorgeous. Against, and Giselle is gorgeous, but I'm just saying like, there's just no chemistry. It's like, I have more of a, I have more of a easier time believing Michael Darby is trying her than We're I gonna do get into that. it. Well, no. And also like, look, I think Chris is not an idiot. Like if you, first of all, I really don't think Chris is out there like sticking his dick into there. I think he has Me Candace, either. but and Candy Gal is a friend of the show, but I love Giselle too. I just think that Chris is not dumb. Like if you really want to go and have an affair, A, it's kind of like, I think Chris would say like, shit or whoever would say but chris would say i i want to do this and you know what i can't do it anymore because i'm on this fucking show and certainly if you don't say that and you want to sneak around like a cat burglar in the middle of the night sorry guys i'm going to make gun gun behind the head and cat burglar jokes i mean i'm not gonna because of dory you don't want me to say this shit some some idiot said that insensitive are you fucking kidding me are you fucking kidding me i'll say whatever i want but let's not have a breakdown here david um but my point is, I mean, I don't think Chris, if he were going to go sneak around like a cat burglar and stick his dick into someone, it's going to be like, let me pick someone that's on the actual show that's being broadcast to millions of people. Come on. It's not even likely. It's not, it, it's not, it's, it's a nothing burger, babe. It's a nothing burger. It's just a nothing burger. I, I don't know. I, I, you know, I'd love to see they teased Katie Rost is back in the mix. Maybe Katie will add a bunch of, you know, I mean, she already was. Ray, Ray Ray's got a little thing for her. I mean, you know, yeah, I'm just, I'm a little struggling. And I, I feel like from Candy's tweets that she feels it too. Like, we got to step up. Like, what is the, what's going on here? You know what I mean? Like, we need... You know, this season would have been a great season for Robin and Juan to get married. Like this, you know, they could have done the bachelor trip. We could have seen Michael unhinged. By the way, okay, talk to it. Talk to me about a guy at BravoCon stands up and says, "I had I hooked up with Michael Darby." What do you know about this? I mean, the women in the audience seem shocked, and I'm like, "Y'all are shocked." Like to me, this man swings any old way. Like, are we shocked? I mean, look he listens to behind the velvet rope. So I know exactly who this is. Troy. Folke. Not Michael, the guy that hooked up with Michael. 
Allegedly, that's what he says. Yeah, allegedly. allegedly. I mean, okay. I'm not calling him a liar. Now, there's 90,000 views on his Twitter. I already said my co-host twice a week, sometimes once a week, puts her sh- sometimes no, not but lately twice a week puts her shit out. She gives me the topics. You know, I give her topics, and she's bringing this up, girl. So, I mean, this is all in a DM. So, like, oh, when this. Sarah. Sure. Like, okay, I'm like, you. well, it was on your list I'm of topics sorry. you wanted it's to public. discuss. I, uh, yeah, you can blame it on me. I'm sorry. I love, it's no secret if you tune into the Sarah Fraser show, almost every guest I have on, I want to know what's going on in your bedroom. I don't give a fuck. You can plug your charity and then let's talk about you sucking some day. I, you know, let's get to it. I'm sorry. Well, I already I told you that, you know, about. sometimes I go after a young one. So there you go. I mean, that sounds bad, but I mean, 20 something. So, um, so you already sense. know what goes on in my bedroom, but I like age appropriate too, everybody. Um, okay good see let me clarify um so but he so i said girl like the the co-host sarah yes i'm blaming it on her she's bringing this up i mean do you want me to mention your name because i mean i like to provide as many so he's like whatever it's already out there on twitter so troy Foki is the gentleman who stood up i don't know what his twitter handle is but that is the Instagram. Now the plot thickens. The plot thickens because he is friends with the one, the only Michael Vicky's son. Oh, okay. Wait, Vicky Gumbelson's son, Michael and Troy are friends. Yes. Okay. You guys like this little bit of detail. So yes, I do. Yes, he, he, he was sending me screenshots, this Troy during <laughs> BravoCon. And I'm like, I don't under, like slow down. I don't understand. How does this involve Shannon and Vicky? Like uh, girlfriend is it's a busy weekend. So, so apparently he said this. Hold on. I'm just reading. I mean, I don't know. Yes, get it, get it. <laughs> Sarah's like, fuck it, don't have any ethics. Like, so apparently there's 90,000 views on Twitter. Only his close friends you knew, not even Vicky. So he knows Vicky because he knows Michael. She said she knows you. You did her podcast. Yes, I did do Vicky's podcast. Yeah, she said Vicky was the bitchiest housewife she's ever met. I think he's talking about Ashley. Yes. And I was next to speak. My question was for Carolyn Manza because I asked Teresa the night before if they run into each other, if they would not be civil. And Teresa said, absolutely not. I was going to ask Carolyn what her response was. But then Ashley was talking, okay, Ashley was talking shit about Vicky. Get it? Because Ashley said Vicky was the nasty. Um, here's the origins of this question. So Ashley said Vicky was the nastiest to her ever, right? They did the squash the beef. Yep. Okay. You get yes. it. So they said, Ashley, yes. who's the worst? Vicky, she's this, she's that. He, this guy, Troy, is friends with Vicky because, and it's true, he's been to her house in Kodo, the other house. He used to go in the hot tub with Michael and all, like they're friends. So he was, Ashley was talking shit about his friend's mom, who's also, he's friends with Vicky. So when it okay. came to his question, he was going to ask Caroline, you know, Teresa said, there's no, you know, she's not going to be civil to you. What's your response? But by the time he got up there and it 